right, welcome or welcome back to the Back Nine Golf Channel. This is Russ. We are at Yahara Hills Golf Course, just outside of Madison, Wisconsin today. The weather has been absolutely terrible. The wind today, it's only blowing like 15 miles an hour, but it's about 42, 43 degrees, about 10, 15 degrees below zero. Correction, below normal, uh, but the weather's just been absolutely awful. It's been really tough to play, but we're gonna get out. We're gonna try to break 85 out on Yahara Hills. We're on the east course today. Let's see how it goes. Everybody feel it come around with the rhythm, it's a sound. Every pillar come around with ground with ground. Everybody feel it come around with the rhythm, it's a sound. Everybody get down when we give it to you. Everybody feel it come around with ground with ground. Everybody feel it come around with ground with ground. Everybody feel it come around with ground with ground. So I've got up to my ball here on hole four, and uh, I've got a moment because I'm gonna let the twosome that's behind me in cars play through, but uh, really challenging look here. I mean, I've got a few options where I could try to go up over that tree and then try to get the ball to cut, but the problem is the wind is blowing this way. I've got a really small window here in which I could try to hit it out through that window, and then it let naturally cut towards the green. I gotta grab my yardage, but I would say I'm probably like 165. So another option is I could try to like play my three iron really low and kind of draw it down between those trees, try to go up and down, or I could just punch it out to this side. So what do you think my best option here is? Take it to the bridge. take a moment to thank you guys so much for tuning in uh, like I've said in the previous videos we're just getting going we've got a lot of content coming here in 2022 this and another round that I'm gonna play on Sunday are actually my tune-up rounds for a, my first tournament of the year which I'm playing at Katigny and that's down in Wheaton Illinois so really excited for that uh, it's gonna be a really pivotal round for me because I face relegation uh, back to D flight if I don't have a good round so stay tuned for that video probably coming out in a week or two.
Okay, second shot, hole seven. So I'm only 100 yards from center. The pin looks like it's way in the back again. I think it's about 112 to 115 to the back. I'm sticking with the gap wedge because I am a little bit downwind here. Plus, it's much better to be short and have an uphill putt than it is to go over the back in that situation. So we're gonna try to play it a little bit short of the pin. So I ended up going considerably long here. Uh, probably a solid 10 yards over and another 10, 15 yards past the pin. Probably hit it a solid 180 with my six iron, which is what I would expect to hit it generally. I just have not been really catching the irons great today, so I didn't expect it to go that far. And as a result, we paid the price for it. So second little shot here, another chance to go up and down. We'll see if we can make this one work. to going in so close all right needless to say not the drive we wanted here on hole nine left ourselves 210 and we've got this uh birch tree or something it looks like a birch tree to contend with the wind is blowing a little bit from right to left so i'm going to try to get it up and let the wind take it and allow it to just cut a little bit back towards the green here. Okay, quick stats for the first nine holes. The putter let us down a little bit there. We missed easy par putts on holes four and six. Three putted holes seven and nine. That's our four bogeys. We ended up shooting 40 overall. Fairways, four of seven. Okay, not bad. Greens, five of nine. I'll definitely take that. 18 putts, two up and downs. Let's see if we can turn it on a little bit here on holes 10 through 18. Straight shank, straight shank, right into the woods. Okay, so this is where my second shot ended up on hole 10 here. And really some limited options. I could just punch it back out low, try to get it through this stuff. Um, I could try to get real aggressive and try to knock it through uh, this rubbish kind of over here. I haven't decided yet. I'm gonna give it a minute uh, to think about it and then we'll see what we do. After looking at that lie, I just thought better of it. I'm like, let's throw this thing out, find a spot to, to play from and take our penalty stroke. It's unfortunate, but it's the, it's the price you pay when you shank your seven iron. And I've got my uh, 58 degree wedge.
right, so it turns out I did not carry the sand trap. That eight iron really didn't fly. So uh, my irons are just kind of all over the place right now. But that being said, we're plugged down in the sand here. I'm gonna take the sand wedge, take a, a hefty rip at it, see if we can get it out and maybe get it close to the hole. This is a really tough shot. So, yeah, I mean, without a doubt, uh, discouraged by the way things have transpired here to start off the back nine, but that is how this game goes. And anybody who's played for a while knows that it is tough to string things together and hold it together for a whole eight, 18 holes. And in this case, unfortunately, uh, things just got away from us on hole 10 and we really haven't been able to recover. So. See if we can make a few pars here on the back. And really ultimately, if we wanted to shoot below 85 today, let's try to keep it below 85 before this thing is all said and done with. I cut a lot more than I wanted. pretty bad. Alright, so if you made it this far into the video and you're still watching, I really appreciate it. Uh, but one thing I want you to check out real quick is I just put up a video a short time ago about actually why I made this channel. So it's up uh, maybe in this corner or that corner. It's in one of the corners. It's linked right now. Go check it out when you get a chance. It's not too long. It's like 17 minutes. You'll really enjoy it. Enjoy the video. Thanks. It's a green and red, barely. It looks like things didn't turn out so hot for that guy.
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Going to take a look again at the front nine real quick. We, we started off with a 40, and those first nine holes, we really set ourselves up in a good position to break 85 uh, in this round of golf. Flipping to the back side of the scorecard, we did not do well at all coming in. We took the triple on 10 and the double on 14. Those two holes alone put us at plus five, and just the rest of the round, nothing too spectacular. We only had three pars. I think what's notable here is I did hit nine of 14 fairways and eight of 18 greens, probably a little bit above average for me at this point in my game right now. We had a total of eight pars overall, a total of eight bogeys overall, but the putting is really where we struggled in this round, a total of 37 putts, and we only went up and down a total of three times. The short game is the recipe for success if you're gonna break 85 or 80 for that matter, and we didn't get, to get it done in this round. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and leave a comment if there's anything you'd like to see on this channel in the future. Thank you. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you in the near future.